Hey everybody, how you doing? It's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to the Ulysses S. Gill Show. Last week we beat Minnesota in a very close game. So we're going to do something a little odd, and we're going to look at the standings before this game, and there's a reason for that, because we're playing Penn State. Last week, Penn State beat Ohio State. So if we look at the standings, uh, number three coming into last week, we're still number three, unfortunately, coaches poll, but Penn State is number two in the nation, and guess who we're playing this week? That's right, Penn State, the number two and three teams in the nation, fight each other. Coming up right now. Welcome, football fans. Our matchup today is between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Michigan Wolverines. At least we're playing a home game. It's going to be better for Ulysses and the team because they're going to be more calm playing the Nifty Lions here at Michigan. Uh, Pick, pick fucking heads or tails, Penn State. Apparently, the indecisive Lions. Cock's deep to return. Cock is deep to return? What did he say? I'm kind of annoyed that Penn State's ahead of us. I mean, it's because they beat Ohio State and they're undefeated, but we're 6 0. They're only 5 0. Ohio State is on our schedule. That's late in the year. That's one nice thing about beating the Big Ten is there's a lot of good matchups. Fucking A. Well, Penn State already scored. Apparently they can't afford nice uniforms, but they know how to score early. Yeah, nice run, little man. We should buy him a little leprechaun outfit. He's probably going to be like, you're being an asshole, Gil. Well, you know. Well, that's always, that always bodes well when you see the left guy on your offensive line fall down. <laughs> You're like, this is going to be a good play. What the hell? Triple option pass? Is that what it was? Yeah, we're going to change that. Nice job. That's having faith in your receiver. <laughs> That's kind of throwing it where there's a bunch of guys normally would want to do that and then expecting and having faith that your receiver's going to come through. And he came through big. All right, McKeon, teach them who's boss. It's like Tony Danza. Yes, more 80s references, please. We're going to get the General Lee and have Elf drive it. We drive over the field. And we'll have the snorkels around. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! I hate that play. Yeah, that might have been a little bad. Benson, go deep. Alright, here goes nothing. Yes! Oh my god, I was afraid 53 was going to come up there and pick that off. Huge first gain, or first down. All them words get jumped up in my brain zone. Don't think you are, baby. I'm not. You never do. Mama! Evans carries the ball. Uh, my baby's got a PhD in not mowing the lawn. Mom, I'll get to it. Get off my butt. Nice turn up field by number 49. Big first down. Well, if we want to be the best, we've got to beat the best. Which is technically Alabama, but you know I meant Penn State here. Run, my friend, run! Oh, how did he do that? Greasy little motherfucker. Ahead of the game, we all went to KFC. We got a bunch of buckets of grease, and we're like, come on, grease them up. We'll get him through that hole. What? <laughs> go, man, go! <laughs> I don't even know who number 31 is. Have we seen him at all this year? I like this run, run, run offense. Any of you who watch my Navy LP know that that's the way I play all the time. Yeah, that guy. What that guy said. Yeah, yeah. Meh, meh. Are you trying to get the quarterback killed there, coach? Yeah, that was a great play. 
It's always a good idea in the red zone to call plays that take a while to do anything. Obviously, I'm not bitter at all about that play call. Well, we got these north-south. I'm sorry, these east-west yards down. We need to get in the end zone, though. What the hell kind of route is Jackson running? Can we at least get him going downfield a little bit? Thanks. That almost... Oh, it's... C come on, coach. Tell me we're going to go for it. I don't know if the coach is going to let us. I just called a hurry-up play so that we're going to. <laughs> All right, guys. Get that push. Touchdown! The reason Gil called a hurry-up play is if we didn't, I think the coach would have gone for a field goal and fourth and inches is like, We've got to make sure we go for this. Come on, Hadley, please tie this up. Yeah, maybe he's been practicing. Is that why he was bad all year? He never bothered to practice? Good job, bro. He's probably going to get confused now. I can't believe they said good, go good job. Are they making fun of me? <laughs> Not a bad job by the special teams. Defense, get us the ball back. And the defense just lets them march downfield and score again. What happened to our defense? Well, coach, it ain't my fault. You're the one who called that damn play. Jackson, go deep. Yeah. <laughs> trying to save some timeouts there since there's only a minute 34 left on the clock we need some big gains though get free you motherfucker come on let's get, we get downfield y'all Oh, oh, oh. Please get there. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I'm not a fan of play action here, coach. Play action is asking to get... How can this be play action? Oh, there we go. Wide open. They're all in their stupid zones. Get out of bounds, you motherfucker. Never mind. Okay. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> he's like, nah, I'm just gonna go get a touchdown. Screw out of bounds in time. <laughs> Outs and things like that. Okay, Hadley, tie that up. Yes, tied ball game. Come on, defense. Oh, defense held them to a field goal. And that was the end of the half. All right. Third quarter, second half started. Shit. Shit. Go, 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 go! Keep going! Don't let him stop you! Yes! Go, go, go! Don't let the big man get you! Oh my god. That must have frustrated the hell out of Penn State. That's the kind of thing when you're on the opposite side of it, of where we are, that's frustrating. We should have had the quarterback. He said it was a monster game. Another big first down. Let's go get that lead. Oh, just overthrew him. I'm not sure I really like this play, but whatever. Coach called it. That's nah, not bad. It sets us up for a third and a little more manageable. I really do not like this play. Alright, here goes nothing. Yeah, it worked! It worked just you listening to getting out of the pocket and waiting for somebody to get open. Touchdown! We have the lead. Put that extra dot on the eye there, Hadley. 
Don't be medley. Wow. At home, he's gotten so much better. I swear, he must have started practicing. I don't know why that announcer's talking about cocks so much. Get a room, buddy. No, oh, baby, just let him talk. Mama don't mind hearing the cocks talk once in a while. Oh, mama, I don't want to hear that, ew. Mamas love cocks, too. That's how you were born. Oh, mama. All right, good job by the defense getting us the ball back. Third and eight, uh, what, third? <laughs> third quarter, three and 18 on the clock. I'm just trying to scream a bunch of numbers at once in my brain and I ain't smart enough to do that. Nice. Hell yeah, we got that one-on-one -on -one coverage we wanted out there. Tearing up the field against the number two team in the nation. Well, that play ended up weird. I was waiting for him to get a little separation, and it never happened. Oh, totally overthrew it on the run, trying not to get killed. <laughs> we need more yards, though, because I don't know if Hadley can kick a field goal from here. Oh, shit, get it, get it, yes! Yes! They got it. Oh, they tipped the ball. And he grabbed them balls from the sky. <laughs> Good job. That's the receiver I was going for anyways. Good job by the receiver to come back and get that. Come on, get loud, Michigan fan. Well, not too loud, I guess. We're setting up our offense. Save that for the defense. Come on, go in the end zone! Oh, he was so close. Yeah, let's just punch it up. Penn State, we are the best in the Big Ten. How dare you try to be ranked ahead of us. Go blue. Touchdown! Woo! Number 40 looks bad. I think Gil was slapping him. <laughs> Oh my, well, there's the Hadley we know and hate, missing the extra point. There's the defense I love, though. For some reason, they're not a first-half defense anymore. Go, go, go! I don't... Oh, oh man, we almost had a free play. Uh, that cut was a little early. <laughs> I cut right into number 91 who just, like, clubbed him. But it's still a three-yard gain. That's a success in my book. I would not have to... Or not have wanted to be Gil there, though. Get it! Go! Oh! We had the guy wide open, but I couldn't get his body turned around in time. Yes! Oh, I didn't know if I was going to be able to get that in there or not. <laughs> Hell yeah, go Gil! Gil's going to be awesome in the uh, NFL once he gets there. Somebody he doesn't have a career-ending injury. Hopefully it doesn't end up like Andre Ware or something either. We're like, oh, what a disappointment. Not bad. We're up by a touchdown and a field goal. We got a two-score lead. Fourth quarter is about to start. Let's put this thing away. All right, that is not successful. Not a big fan of play action in these situations. Hopefully this works. Oh, it did! First down! Poor Gil getting hit left and right. Don't touch my baby! I'll be alright, mama. Oh, shit, shit! That was dumb. Thank God nothing bad happened there. 
That's where he'd have eaten it and taken the sack instead of trying to force the ball. No, pick it up! No, I didn't mean you guys! <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's not so hot. Come on, defense. Hold these guys. Good job by the defense. Yeah, nice little safe pass. Kind of like a run. Five yards. Let's keep that clock going. Hopefully, we should be, if we win this game, we should move up in the rankings. I don't expect that we'll be ahead of Alabama. But we got to move into the number two spot if we beat um, Penn State. There you go. Nice job. I think that'll be the highest we've been ranked in any of the years Gil's been here, isn't it? I don't remember how high we were ranked at the end of the last year when we went to the Rose Bowl. Nice! Get the block! Hell yeah! <laughs> Touchdown, Gil! That makes up for the fumble earlier. I'd say it's just about over. I mean, they could have a miracle comeback, but... Hadley, if you do not make this, Gil's going to run out of the field and kick you in the groin. Uh, I guess what you have to do to inspire him, not to fuck up. Alright, come on defense. Ooh, the defense got us the ball back pretty quick. Alright, we just got to run a minute 31 off the clock, and we win. I do not think an option play is a good idea. The reason I don't think it's a good idea is they're prone to fumbles, and also, do you want to injure your quarterback at this point in the game? Okay, maybe I was wrong. That ended up being a huge game. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I still would have been more conservative myself. Maybe it's because with our Navy team, we end up having so many injuries. Hut, hut! Yeah, just let that clock run down. We're in pretty good shape, even if we settle for a field goal here. Which we shouldn't even need to do. We should be able to run one more play and be done. As long as the coach isn't an idiot. And he is an idiot, so who knows what's gonna happen. Gil's like, hey ladies, who wants to go home with a winner? That's me. I'm on the winning peen. I mean team. You can get the winning peen. What? First down and that's game. We scored twice as much as the number two team in the nation. That better make us number one. If not, I'm going to be mad. Hell of a game though. Yeah, well, I'll see you next time. Uh, we're not actually leaving that quickly. Come on, we gotta celebrate this and then see where we are in the standings. He was throwing bombs out there today. He should have been on Air Force dropping bombs all over the place. You can see that one cheerleader on Penn State there. If you go back, kick the ground. Because he's like, oh man, I don't know how in the hell he saw what was going on behind him, but still. Those are the only still highlights we get. He had all those great plays. Oh, well. <laughs> Hell of a game. We are still undefeated. We are 7-0. and Gill, 17 out of 22. 328 yards passing. Two passing touchdowns. 116 rushing yards and one rushing touchdown. That's a hell of a game. All right, that was a hell of a game. We beat the number two nation... Our team in the nation. Let's see if we're number two now. We better have moved up in the 
We're number one in the nation on the coaches poll, which virtually guarantees we're number one on the media poll and in the BCS early rankings. We're number one in the nation. We even leapfrogged Alabama. Hell yes. Not bad. Everybody, I'll see you next week when we try and defend being number one in the nation. Take it easy, everybody. It was another good game on the road to glory this week. Our student athlete proved once again why he was a good choice for our series. It's becoming a habit for him to win player of the game. For more on this performance, we bring in Kirk Herbstreet. All right, thanks, EA. For Michigan, it was just another day at the office. They didn't dominate their opponent, but the opponent didn't dominate them either. The team added another tally to the win column, but not without the help of our road to glory athlete. In fact, Aaron, I just got word that he's also been named the conference player of the week for his performance. He was able to complete passes to his receivers with surgical precision. And his ground game wasn't bad either. The game that our Road to Glory student-athlete had this past week exemplifies the reason why we selected to follow him throughout his career. He was an important factor in his team's victory. He demonstrated big playability and great awareness. And when his team needed him most, he came through. You know, the more I watch this guy play, the more I continue to be impressed by him. For Iowa, they're going to be watching a lot of film this week to find any clues on how to stop this kid. Okay, Aaron, back to you. Kirk Herbstreet, thank you very much. It's time to wrap up this midseason Road to Glory report. We'll be back the next time our student-athlete makes headlines in the college football world. For EA Sports, I'm Aaron Andrews.